so I wanted to do a little Q&A because I've been getting all of you guys' emails on my astromaine at gmail.com. I've gathered all of your advice questions that you have for me and I'm just gonna go through with them and I will name you for chisel. First of all, hello from the Philippines. I previously recorded this, so. So I'm just gonna answer these out of random. They're the questions that I picked out. Um, if I don't answer your question, please don't think I'm a bitch. Okay, so this first one is from Casey. I wanted to know how you trained Howie. He seems so well behaved in your videos and he's a service dog, which is really impressive. <gasps> um, yes, Howie is actually a certified service dog. I initially trained him when he was a puppy, right when I got him from the breeder. I trained him in English. We're gonna progress into Tagalog. I, I trained him the basic things like sit, um, lay down. Our Labradors are extremely smart and he learned very quickly. I think he just really did it because he liked kibbles. So I certified Howie as a service dog uh, due to my you know, public anxiety. And I know what's very common nowadays to certify your dog. I mean, even like a little rat chihuahua is now a service dog. I mean, no shit, I have my own chihuahua, but what is that little fucker gonna do? Is he gonna save you? And me as a pet owner, you can pretty much certify any dog to be, you know, go with you on airplanes or go inside a restaurant and nobody is legal to question you. And if restaurants do, get that money girl so when he was two years old i put him through training school for a whole month when i was in the philippines and after you go through training school um you get one of these service animals this is his old one but since he eats a lot he uh migrated into the xxl he also has his own leash the best part about him being a service dog is that um he's very well behaved you got no prob boy i love you i, I, oh. I have to dedicate a song to him Hey little Howie, ooh you're tuggy Hot little Pega, yes you and I can I'm so glad to be yours You're a class, so you're a man Ooh you cutie, when you talk to me I swear the whole world stops, you're my sweetheart and Another question is from Dea. Dea, can you give some advice as to get in shape and most of all feel motivated to exercise? You know, I'm an active, like, you know, exerciser. Everybody who loves to work out really dread it on the inside. And for me, it was really hard for me to just like be at like a gym environment. For me, I like more of like interactive because when I'm in a gym, I don't know what the fuck to do. You know, I just watch people hurt themselves at the gym. So for me, what really motivates me to exercise is really the energy that I get from it. It's really important for me to like change up my routine um, I took TRX and spin classes for like literally four months and now I'm into like just doing cardio and strength. Okay, so Carolina says, I'm a senior in high school and I can't seem to get a good decent guy as a boyfriend. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. How should I deal with this situation? Well, Carolina, you're meeting all of the wrong guys. Mm -mm. Listen, if you're not a qualified psycho and a needy chihuahua, then it's obviously the guys that you're meeting. You know, sometimes we attract people that are not good for us. You know, what makes a good relationship is a balance. And if you don't have that balance, then you're pretty much gonna have to bake your own cookies. And you know, Carolina, a good way to look for a guy is just don't look for them at all. Chances are most guys are not really ready for a relationship. I didn't get my first real, real relationship boyfriend until I was like 20. Now you can wait until you're 50, 60 or dead to really find out which guy was really right for you. So Hannah, pretty name, asked, how do you remain positive? I've been through some emotional crap lately and I'm having a shit time with the BF and so on. Just wondering what coping mechanisms or strategies you have? Like what me and my therapist were talking about today, you really have to train your mind because your mind is the most powerful thing going on with you. You know, people can go on a lifetime looking for happiness. What most people don't understand is that, you know, happiness is a choice. Happiness is a reflection of your attitude in life. So if you just think positive, things in life for you will happen positively. So my coping mechanisms, you know, when shit goes down the drain, is just distract yourself. You know, I have my moments of weaknesses, but I'm pretty good at snapping out of it. You know, every day I'm trying to practice how to not provoke my negative emotions and just kind of like think positive. You know, just because the world is crap right now doesn't mean that you have to participate with crappy people. And how do you de-stress after a long stressful day? I mean, I don't know, get a massage, go for a walk, call your boyfriend, hit them up. Pow! You know, eat a piece of chocolate, have some coffee, go to Starbucks, masturbate, just find what feels good to you. So Adriel asked, how do you deal with a breakup? When I was in Germany, my cousin was actually going through a breakup and I told her, girl, the only way to get over one is to get an under one. And by the way, people who have just been broken up with somebody aren't the funnest to hang out with because, you know, they're in like the woes me stage. You know, personally for me, I've never really been through like a really, really like tough breakup. You know, as a teenager, I was kind of like the Black Widow. So I've never really had my heart broken. My advice on how to deal with the breakup 
get in the best shape of your life. Girl, a great body is the best revenge. You want him to suffer and make him realize what he needs to reconsider. You want to let the world know that you still got it. You want to dangle that meat in his face and slap him. Okay, so Destiny asked, how do you know if a guy likes me? I've caught him staring at me from time to time, and sometimes I think he flirts with me. If you catch him staring at you from across the classroom, you better look back and make sure your thong isn't hanging out when you're sitting down. You know, guys aren't gonna stare at ugly girls. How do you know if a guy likes you? I don't know. Look to see if something's growing in his pants. So Destiny, I think he does like you because if you think you guys are flirting or he's flirting with you, most chances are they are. Regardless if that guy just wants to get in your pants or not. If he smittens you, then do whatever tickles your pickles, honey boo. So Nicole asked me, any tips for making new friends in college? Um, Nicole, I personally have never really went to college. I did. I went to fashion school, but that wasn't a college. That was just school. I, I think the key to making new friends is, you know, to keep an open mind. Steer clear from judgment. If you're in college, you know, join clubs. Join the Japanese speaking club. You know, you'll, you're actually going to find people who have the same interests in you if you join clubs. Like one of my issues about meeting new people is um, actually being shy and uh, thinking too much about what they're going to think about me. Like that's my prob. Caitlin, she says, I'm 20 years old and I have a seven month old baby boy. I want to become a YouTuber so much it's unreal. Well, Caitlin, you should do it. You know, one of the greatest things about doing YouTube is that you basically are working for yourself and you know, you can take your work anywhere and it's great for stay at home moms. You know, us YouTubers, we create our own schedules. It depends how much you want to work and what you're willing to put out. And if you have a baby, it's great that you can make, you know, lifestyle videos of whatever interests you. But YouTube is kind of like a lifestyle for all of us. The more you incorporate your own life into YouTube, the more you become relatable to your audience. So Caitlin, do it. Okay, so Faiza, Faiza, Faiza. She says, I would like to know how you managed to move out and live by yourself because I would really want to be independent and not listen to my parents always bragging to get me married off. Girl, listen, my mom was the biggest nagger in the world and that was enough motivation for me to get the out. You know, I moved out when I was 19 and at the time, um, YouTube, you know, was my outlet for me, not just socially, but just kind of like being more independent. And you just have to really create opportunities for yourself and like focus on it. One good way to be independent from your parents is making your own decisions that's going to benefit you and not, you know, the happiness of other people. Okay, so the last question I'm going to answer is from Kira Marie. How far in a relationship is it appropriate to introduce ourselves to one another's par parent. Like, I get along with all of my boyfriend's parents, except my own parents. You know, I've never really had a bad experience. I think the boyfriend's parents always end up liking me better than their own child. I've always seemed to click with the mom. The best way to really get your man hooked on you is to befriend his mom, because his mom knows everything about this kid. You know, guys like women who are similar to their mom. You know, a mom nurtures, loves, and shelters, and cares. And if you provide all that, you're good. You're gonna get that ring, girl. So Kira, how do you know if you're ready to meet his parents? You have to be ready to accept, you know, whichever form they come in. You know, meeting your partner's parents is not a show. I mean, it could be a shit show. But, you know, it's not to put on a show. It's just to just come in your full self. And I understand that it's intimidating, but, you know, make fun of your boyfriend. Call him out on his BS. His parents are gonna bound to agree. Just come in with all ears and an open heart. And, you know, you should have no problem. So, yeah, you guys, those are all of the questions that I wanted to answer briefly. Thank you guys so much for emailing me these questions. If you have any more, don't hesitate to email them to me at astromain at gmail.com and I would love to give you guys quickie advice responses okay I feel sweat running down my boob so I will see you guys next time on my next video hello from the Philippines again and um, I'll see you